following program is rated G. It is suitable for all audiences. Hello everyone! Welcome to AHA! Kusan, di na uso ang mangmang! Lamang ang bayala! So for today, we are going to talk about the different motion of objects. The vertical movement of object which is called the free fall. And the horizontal movement of object which is the project sound movement. So, if given a piece of paper and a 5 peso coin, which will you think fall faster? Will it be the piece of paper? or the 5 plus a coin. Will you believe me if I will tell you that these two objects will fall at the same time? Well, our topic for today will explain this, which is free fall. So before tackling about free fall, let us first talk about one-dimensional vertical motion. So there are three cases for vertical motion. And to explain these cases, let us call three different students from Angola City National High School. So to guide us with the first case, let us call Cassandra Jo Young from 4 SSC. Welcome, Cass. Hi, Mentor. So can you now explain the first case? Yes, of course. Dropping, this is the simplest case. We will just drop the ball at a certain height and make sure we don't put pressure on it. Just like this. Now proceed to the second case of vertical motion, which will be explained by Michelle Reyes from Forest SC. Welcome, Mitch. It's my pleasure. So, can you now explain the second case? Okay. This is actually the general case of people. The object has an initial velocity. So, in the first case, the it has a zero initial velocity. But in this case, by throwing it downward, it will have an initial velocity. for enlightening us with the second case of vertical motion. You're very much welcome. Now is the third and last case for the vertical motion, which will be explained by Renalyn Valenzuela of 4 Hi, Renabas, and welcome back. Hello, sir. So, can you now explain the third case? Of course, sir. In this case, we may have two types of motion, the upward motion and the downward motion. The upward motion, it's caused because of the force after the band it. And the downward motion is caused because of the gravitational pull. Thank you very much, Renabas, for your explanation. You're welcome, sir. It's my pleasure to be here. Now that we know vertical motion, let us now define free fall. Free fall is a one-dimensional motion along the vertical in which it is in a state where the object moves under the sole influence of gravity, meaning there is no air resistance acting on it. Now that we know free fall, let us talk about the truth about falling objects. It is stated that the acceleration of free falling objects on Earth is 9.8 meter per second squared. This volume is the same for all free falling objects regardless of how long they have been falling or whether they are initially dropped from rest or thrown up into the air. This explains why this piece of paper and a 5 peso coin will fall on the ground at the same rate because on the principle of free fall, all objects accelerate at the same rate, meaning more massive objects will only fall faster if there is an appreciable amount of air resistance present. The actual explanation why all objects accelerate at the same rate involves the concepts of force and mass. According to the Newton's law, acceleration of an object is directly proportional to force and inversely proportional to mass. Increasing force tends to increase acceleration, 
while increasing mass tends to decrease acceleration. Thus, the greater force on more massive objects is offset by the inverse influence of greater mass. Subsequently, all objects free fall at the same rate of acceleration, regardless of their mass. Now let us talk about the horizontal motion or the projectile motion, which will be explained by the A-Synergia student, Jonathan Virolion from Forest C. Welcome to AHA, Jonathan. Thank you. It's my pleasure. So now can you explain the projectile? Yes. Projectile motion. A projectile is an object or body thrown with an initial velocity and whose motion is influenced by the pull of gravity. Give us an example of a projectile. Sure. For example, this object, as I throw it horizontally, the height of the ball decreases. Why? It's simply because due to the pull of gravity. Therefore, projectile means it is a combination of vertical and horizontal motions that are completely independent on each other. Box. But before we say our device, let me introduce ourselves. I am Kelvin Asiazon, Michelle Reyes, Jonathan Rodion, Reyna de Valenzuela, Cassandra Joy Young, and the people behind the camera, Ria Lona Gimbiliano and Casey Rocket. I hope you learned a lot dahil di na puso ang mangma, lama ang mayalam. Aha! Bye bye! bye, -bye. <laughs>